Hello, this is Mrs. Reed, and I just want to show you guys how to navigate my Canvas page. Um, so when your child goes into Canvas, they're going to click on my math class if they're in my cluster math 7 or if they're in my math 8 class. So let's say uh, they're in my cluster math 7 class. Um, both of the classes look exactly the same. Um, so you'll have three buttons here on the home page, the agenda page, the class resources, and the contact button. So contact is how you can contact me. Class resources are just additional materials that I find necessary that students can use in class. Uh, but to navigate anything in my class, you'll click on the agenda page. And then I uh, display the units by a calendar and also the lessons that we do that day. So like, today is August 16th so that means that we're doing unit 1 lesson 10 um, so whatever date that you're on you're you'll go to that date you'll see what we're doing that day so um, if I were absent on today the 16th I would go into canvas and I would click on this unit 1 but it's important that you also look at what unit that we're on for today so it's unit 1 lesson 10 so when I click on the unit 1 it's going to go to the module or the page with all of the materials that we're doing for unit one. So that's why I said it's important to also look at the lesson because as you can see over here, uh, the first one's unit one, lesson one, and then it just goes down. So the 16th, we're doing unit one, lesson 10, and uh, we're solving multi-step equations with variables on both sides, and this is day three of doing it. So the way that I display what we're doing in class your first column is going to be any notes that we do that day. So like today, we're just doing an activity in class. Um, if I have a video on the notes, the second column here will be a video of the notes, as you can see with the previous ones that I have done. And then this last column is where you'll find the homework. So unit one, lesson 10 homework. If you click on it, this is the homework that we're doing for today. Um, so if students are ever absent, uh, they can print it off at home if you have a printer, and if you don't have a printer, that is fine. Uh, students can just complete their work on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, but that is pretty much it, so if you still have any questions, please let me know.